Hi everybody, this is Tina with Rehatch Designs. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, I am here for just a What's on My Desk Wednesday. I don't have much going on at all, uh, mainly because I am still working on um, kind of doing my um, craft room and I'm almost done. I'm pretty excited about that. Um, of course, um, Easter weekend's coming up and I kind of have um, a lot going on. I've got family coming in and things like that, um, you know, and so I'm trying to get the rest of the house ready and groceries and all that kind of stuff. So I'll probably only do a couple videos this week, um, maybe maybe um, three, we'll see. Um, today, I'm just gonna do something kind of simple, um, simply because um, I don't have a lot of time so what I wanted to do is show you what I, in cleaning up my craft room, what I decided I was going to do. I um, had another leftover um, uh, binder, and I love binders to put different things in, and I'll, I kind of showed you some of that, but I'll show you more. This is just a leftover binder that I had, and it's a, I don't know, a pretty, pretty wide one. Um, and I had a whole bunch of these leftover, um, I guess, sheet protectors, you know, that you put your, your pages in. And I just stuck them in here and a bunch of papers um, that I planned on maybe collaging on. I've got some magazine papers, just some, these are some papers that I pulled out of my stash that I definitely, um, I'm not going to use. So I thought, well, I'm just going to do a little collaging today and um, we'll do a little chit chatting. And if I have a chance, I'll show you what I'm going to do with this. And I'm just going to take um, maybe a couple of these ugly pages because they really are ugly. I can't believe at some point I bought those, right? Let me move that over here. And anyway, um, just kind of show you what I do. And I wanted to make them this size because I want to later be able to put them in that binder and just have them ready because what has happened for me, and I think I've, if you've been watching me for any length of time, you'll know that I, I haven't ever been a person that made things ahead of time. I just didn't do it. So, um, but I'm going to make very basic textured um, pieces that I can use um, for tags, um, uh, you know, just different types of mixed media, things like that. And I'm just taking out pieces of stuff that I already have torn up. And then I'll probably add some others. And I really am not really, I don't have any special... Um, you know, oh, I don't know, um, type of design in mind or anything. I will tell you this. I like having a lot of texture because um, what I do to these usually is pretty much, um, boy, this thing's really not coming off good. Um, like this is a piece of, um, what do you call it? Uh, packaging so it's a little thicker so that's kind of the thing I like to do this is a little thinner and I can overlap that maybe put I'll, I'll just put it here <laughs> and I'm really gonna try and just add texture to this because that's kind of what I want. I might have to get a different glue stick. I probably left that one out or something. Let me get my tear ruler. And I'm kind of putting these on reasonably um, straight just because I am going to um, do something with this later that kind of requires that but 
doesn't really doesn't have to be perfect and because I'm using a lot of different kind of papers um, well maybe I'll put it this way I'm gonna have a lot of different um, textures in there and I also have um, some and I'm using all of the um, not using any of the colored side I just want it to be kind of um, not very um, colorful at all I just well I could do it on the other side on that yeah I could do that I just really want it to be kind of plain just because put something right there I want to do something a different texture or paper or whatever so anyway I hope all of y'all are doing well I um, had meant to come in here was it yesterday and my middle son dropped off his dog and I've got my other older son's two dogs and then my dog so I mean it has been I feel like I'm running a kennel because um, he went out of town to visit my youngest son and in Colorado and that just kind of <laughs> I'm like huh. so it's been a little bit hectic it's funny how I end up with all the dogs but and my dog she's having a blast because you know she's got all these friends to play with all day but there's enough of them there that I can't really kind of leave them for too long because <laughs> they always get into something um, so anyway I'm just kind of wanting to do something that's relaxing to me and this is relaxing for any of you that haven't done this um, let me see I need some bigger pieces over here so I mean I I'm not a great collage person but the way I do it it really isn't going to make any difference in the end how well I do it so because most of this you will not see later I don't know if I want to put that on that way hmm, I'll just put that on anyway I have um, just really enjoyed the fact that I'm getting my my um, craft room in order because it had gotten to the point where I just wasn't finding things and you know things were taking me so long to find that it was taking me you know just too long to get things done so getting to the point where I can just look around and you know see things to me is great but I still need to I'm going to put that up there still need to um, do a few things I have more labeling I need to do and the last time I did my craft room I kind of put that off and um, there are some things this time that I really kind of need to label that I have up on a shelf that I know if I don't label it I'm going to totally forget what it was that I put up there all right what am I going to put here I don't want to put that there let me put this here okay anyway this is just going to be um, more than likely something that I use for um, a collage I mean um, my mixed media collage I mean stuff that I do just because 
I am, well, I think maybe I'll put that down there. Hmm. Because I don't want it too close to the other piece. And I'll just put it all the way across. Um, yeah, I just, I have so much extra um, paper lying around that I have got to get to a point where I do this at least once a week, you know, because I got to get rid of some of this paper. I really have no, um, no other choice to do this or throw it away because I'm, I just, you can't, you can only keep so much, right? Maybe I'll put that down there. Just need one more piece. See, so I've almost already emptied out my little trash can thing here, so that's exciting. Um, let me do this first, and then... And we can put that piece there. Yeah, this glue stick's weird. I must have left it out or something. Because usually it's not like that. Um, just a little one little piece right here. And I'll just put that there. Okay, it's got a little tiny piece there, but... So anyway, that's one already, right? Um, now what I like to do with these, here I'll put a little piece right there. Get my other glue stick out. Put that right there. What I am going to want to do and I'm going to do them all at the same time. I like to take, um, and I don't know if I'll use that one. Let me see. Let's see here. I'm going to use um, my Liquitex um, Ultra Matte Gel. I like using that on this because I like, or I'll use like just a clear gesso or something. And that just to me, you know, um, just kind of seals it and then I have something that I'll just do that next I was gonna do it separately but I guess I'll do it next um, I just like how it seals it so I'm just take this and I'm not gonna put a lot on but um, and this stuff works really well for sealing it and I like the fact that it gives you a good um, surface to do other things on because I don't know for sure what I'm going to do with this you know so anyway since I had not done a video in a while I thought I would come on here and chat and see how you guys were doing and I don't think I want to put anything else on this one so that is going to just kind of this stuff dries pretty quick too that's what I like about it um, so it'll kind of it'll kind of um, get all those other ends down that maybe I didn't glue real good you know just by doing that a little bit and then I'll just set this aside and it will dry and then let's go ahead and do the next one Close that up. Um, I'm going to do it a little different. Let me wipe this down a little. So, anyway, I've had a lot of dogs that I've had to deal with all day. And I'm probably going to... Um, it doesn't really matter which side I do this on because I will back these with something anyway, but I could do it on that side this time. Um, this time I'm going to do it a little different. I'm going to go ahead and use mainly old papers. Um, 
and I'm look, going for a certain look on this. The other one I was just trying to empty out my, um, kind of empty out my, I have a, like a little thing on my desk where I put all my little scrap pieces. I put those all in there and I just empty that out. That's how I, so it was pretty full. So at least I did that. Now this is just papers that I have sitting around that I, you know, I don't really have any, um, and I want different ones and different kinds because I want to be able to have different colors in there, types of paper, different thicknesses. Okay, that's probably enough. Okay, so I'm going to do that. And this one is going to be a little bit more. Here, let me put this in water so I don't have to worry about that. Um, a little different. Let me get my other glue stick out. The other thing too is I kind of moved around the stuff around in my on my desk so I really want to be able I think I'm just going to use a regular ruler for this I kind of want maybe a little smaller I think yeah I'm going to cut up different pieces a lot of this um, paper that I have that I use for this it's very brittle, so it's really, I can't really use it, um, you know, like as a page. So I um, I tend to tear it, you know, I'll put it behind things and things like that. So let me do this. I kind of want that a little smaller. I, think I want them all a little bit smaller. This I want a little bit different because um, this I intend to make tags probably with the other one I think I have a mixed media idea with that so I will just cut different pieces okay I can use that one yeah it's kind of messed up And I'm cutting them similar size, but not exactly the same, so. And on these, you're actually gonna see these a lot more than you would the other ones. You're gonna, the other, the other page that I did, I will probably cover almost all of that up with, um, with uh, gesso. This, um, I'm, I probably will put a little gesso on it but not very much, so it's going to be a kind of a different look completely for me. So, let me put the top on this. Um, so, anyway, I know this isn't very exciting or new for any of you, um, but everybody does their collage a little bit different, and I thought this would be a good kind of crafting chat. Um, so I am getting ready to mail out the winners that I had. Um, and I had announced them, gosh, over a month ago um, or over that on my channel for my giveaways. And I'm going to be having another one. Um, this week, I don't know which day for sure, and I don't want to announce it, but um, I kind of wanted to get to the point where I was just about done cleaning up my room because I wanted to get rid of some things, and I thought, well, what better way to do that than to give it away? But I am going to have another winner this week. And then um, I wanted to probably put together 
um, some things to put in my Etsy shop because I have concluded that in order for me to um, use all the things that I have, I have to live to be about 150. So I don't know, you know, I'm trying to take care of my health, but I don't think that's going to happen. So um, I am going to actually put things in my Etsy shop. And I've been talking about doing that forever if you've been watching me and it's just I'm too lazy to get this together. But now that I know kind of where everything is, it's not going to be as much of a, a thing. And you know the other thing was is that I thought, well, if I make these bundles, I have to do all the bundles. Well, really what I need to do is just do one of each and then if they sell, then I, you know, just make them as they go. I don't know why I was thinking that for so long. I'm, I just don't do that kind of thing. And I did, I mean, I honestly didn't even sell my journals when I first started doing this. I just got to the point where I had so many journals I had to. Okay, I'm going to put all that aside and let's just start gluing. So this one's going to be a little different. Um, I'll go ahead and do it on this side because it might show through. I really um, am going to have this. You'll be able to see through this. So, I mean, for what I'm going to use this for. So you'll be able to see the music paper or the other paper or whatever. Not a lot, but a little. So I kind of want to be able to, you know... have things that look good underneath there and I want them a little bit smaller so I need a, a little darker color too maybe this one I got a little bit of that but uh, you know I don't know I love how collage looks when you put some gesso on it and that kind of thing. Mm. I have a lot of different pages in here, so got some French pages. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Got those. I just like having different kinds of stuff in there. Especially on the ones that I know you're going to be able to see. And I like different colors of paper. It's mainly how I pick them. It's by the color. Yeah, I want a few longer pieces in there too. I've got too many short ones. Yeah, that'll work. Maybe this. All right. So anyway, my last few days have been just finishing up. And this is the part that's really exciting in my craft room because I'm like, you know, getting to the point where I'm being really kind of you know, specific as to where I'm putting things instead of just, <laughs> I had such a disaster. Oh God, it was so bad. I'm sure my husband was like, you're never going to get all this cleaned up. But I knew, I knew I had dumped everything out into the um, game room upstairs and just kind of, um, just had it all sitting on top of the pool table and all, you know, I mean everywhere really. I mean you could barely walk. And um, you know, I mean it looked bad. It just really looked bad. But you know, hey, I knew that eventually, it, you know, I would get it all done. So I'm very, very happy with the um with the progress I've made and I'm 
Well, I really am almost done. And I haven't changed any furniture around very, well, I mean a little bit, but not very much. Um, oh, I can't put that there. Um, just because it really worked for me, and my room is honestly so small that I don't have like a lot of options as far as, you know, moving my furniture around because it's only going to fit, <laughs> you know, a certain amount of ways because, um, you know, and I don't, I don't mind that because I, you know, I actually think the way I have my furniture works, but what was happening is I had certain things in certain places that I was never ever using. And then I had other things that I was using all the time, but they were not really in the right place. You know what I mean? It was just like, oh, I should have put that over here or, you know, it just wasn't the right spot for them. So, <laughs> let's put that there. So anyway, I personally, Hope I don't have to do this again anytime soon, though. You know, because it's just so, ugh. And it really got me so far behind in doing other stuff in my house because, you know, I really was concentrating. And I'm, I'm at the point, too, where I'm old enough to where I only have so much juice in the tank. And, you know, I'll do something, I'll do, you know, X amount of stuff. And I'm like, I'm done for the day. I can't, I just can't do anymore. You know, I'm just, I'm tired. So, you know, I just had gotten to the point where I had to do something because I was not finding things. And that, that's when I know, that's when I know that I have to, have to do something. Yep, okay. Let me, I think maybe I'll start up here, do that. Yeah, and then when you get to the point where I'm, you know, tripping in the room because I can't, I have so much stuff on the floor instead of, some of it too is I have to get better at, you know, putting things away, you know, I just really do because I'm, I, you know, I'll do, I'll do a video or do a project and I'll just put everything in a pile and not put it away and so I'm going to do it later and then I'll go on to the next thing and the next thing you know I've got piles everywhere and ugh, I don't know if y'all are like that but and you know there's another thing too and I I really have to figure out what I'm going to do about this because and it, I don't know it's just really really a dilemma I do a lot of different types of journals I don't do what I'm noticing when I watch other YouTubers, they do a lot of the same, not all of them. I mean, there's a few that don't do that, but there are a lot that do the same, similar types of journals. And um, I would think in the long run that makes things easier as far as your supplies and even concentrating on what you're doing and that type of thing. Um, and I haven't, now I haven't really found an answer for that because, um, for me personally, part of the reason I like doing junk journals is I like doing different styles, different themes, that kind of thing. Um, I see people sometimes on some of the Facebook groups and they'll talk about how they've lost their mojo and all that kind of stuff like that. And I kind of think that part of that might be if you're doing the same thing over again, over and over again. Oh, I got to hit that little corner there, don't I? Well, maybe that's why I did that. I don't know. I'm trying to remember why I did it so thick. And now I know. Now I know. Because I had to hit that corner. Probably should not have done that. Because now I can't cut it. Oh, gosh. What am I doing? Uh, yeah, this has to be a little bit shorter here. I'm just going to cut it that way. There we go. Um, if you do a lot of different styles, 
you, you're going to have more stuff because you're collecting for all of these different styles. I mean, it's just how it's going to be. So, and I, I don't know. And not only that, even if you just do one style and it changes a little bit and you're collecting different things and, but I mean, like for instance, I, I love doing, um, shabby chic. I have a lot of stuff to do that, but at the same time, I also like, um, I'm going to do this this way. Um, I also like, you know, grungy and I like Tim Holtz and I like, you know, I just like a lot of different things and, um, and I, and I'm not going to say I don't like some more than others. Um, I do, but I also know myself well enough that if I just stuck to one style, I would get bored because I like to challenge myself. I like to try different things. And I know that if I did just stick to one style, that um, I probably would grow my channel faster too. Uh, I don't want to put that there. Um, I definitely know that. Um, you would think that's the opposite, but it's actually been proven to be um, the opposite. That the more you concentrate just in one style or, you know, I see people that do all different kinds of crafts and stuff like that. Um, the more you concentrate just on one style, one craft, that type of thing, or, or you know, zone in, um, the better for your channel because then, you know, your people, they know what to expect. And I know what people like based on I can go out there and look at it. Um, and I could just, you know, do that. And if I was just worried about my channel growing and things like that. Um, but my major reason for doing this is I really like to share. Um, I, I really enjoy it. And I also... Um, want to bring you along my journey, you know, when I try different things. And if all I do is the same thing all the time, I, I'm just not gonna, I don't think I'll last long because I know myself well enough. Okay, so that one's very different than the other one I did. If you want to look at the two, see this has a lot more bigger pieces and, but it's not gonna, oh, look at that. See, we have a couple pieces we need to glue down. All right, so I am going to let that dry a little bit. And then I'm going to do this one. And let me see, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then, where'd my little brush go here? So my dilemma is, you know, well, I continue to just, you know, do as many different things as I'm doing, or a piece of hair there. Because I, I love doing lots of different things. Um, and I like trying different things, so... Now, I'm sure even in my different ways of doing things, I have a style. Um, you know, I have a certain style. I mean, everyone and your, and your style changes, but, um, you know, I also, you know, I do boho, I do shabby, I do grungy, I do, um, um, gosh, I don't know what other styles are there. I do, um, you know, just all kinds of stuff and. I really, really enjoy doing different things. And, oh, and I can tell you that I know for sure which ones people like better than others, but, and also too, you know, there was a time when 
um, I just like shabby or I just liked you know the Tim Hall slick or I just and when I tried different things I ended up liking them when I really didn't think I was going to I remember the first time I did like a really grungy type of journal I ended up really really loving it it was so freeing and fun and all that kind of stuff and I don't know if I have this plugged in okay so I'm gonna dry these off and I will be right back okay all right so in the end we have a couple of pieces nothing super exciting but I just thought you might want to see how I intend to do these I've got all these other pieces that I'm going to use to collage on or collage with sitting over there um, that I just happened I had them laying on my desk so my goal is I'm just going to be sticking these now you could just put holes in these and put them in there I just assumed well I have all these little dividers up in here I can just stick those in here and you know I probably wouldn't normally dry these I would just probably do a bunch of them and gesso them and put them out to let them dry so then I can just put them in there I can even put these back to back if I want to I'll just put it in its own little thing but this way guys I have these ready to go so when I want and I need something I can just you know of course add to it I could add more color I could add more paper but then I have these all in a nice little place where I can get to them and that's kind of my gonna I'm gonna start doing that um, at least once a week I'm just gonna sit down for a few hours and make a bunch of pages and stick them in here and pull them out so you'll see me do that in the future um, and you know just thought I'd give you that idea of course you don't have to have page protector protectors you could just put holes in there but I figured I have them this way I'm not putting holes in that side and I mean you can use magazines um, I have a lot of um, you know things that I printed you know I, I printed wrong or something I mean there's no reason why you can't use that I a lot of times use the back side um, just because I know I'm probably gonna cover it but you can always use this side of your paper you can use magazines anything you want um, you can use book pages you know I mean I'm sure you've seen people do this where you put a couple pieces together or something you know and then collage that but um anyway that is all i have today i was just going to kind of share what i was doing and um you know the one thing too is just remember um when you're stressed out or you like have a lot going on or you don't have a specific plan in mind you know, collaging is a great way to relieve stress, to kind of free up your mind to think of doing other things, or maybe not, maybe not think of anything, to watch television and do it. Um, so, you know, just remember, it's a great way to use scraps, but it's also a great, I think, form of therapy. And I needed to do this today because I have a lot going on. Um, but I appreciate you hanging out with me and I'm not sure what I'm going to do next, but I will be doing one or two more videos this week and, um, there will be a giveaway in one of those and I don't know which one yet. So anyway, um, I will see you all soon. Take care. Bye.